Hello guys, good morning, Dr. Chad. Welcome back to another home workout with me. Uh, this is gonna be a good one. Uh, we're gonna work planks, my friends. We're gonna work the core. We're gonna work those hips. Um, I know, I know, I know getting on the floor is hard for some of you, but for those of you who can do it, we should. And if you can't, uh, what I suggest, if you look behind me here, this is a massage table. This is something Brenda and I have. I work on her, her back and her neck and her shoulders. This is an easy thing that you can get. Uh, the brand you can get on Amazon. It can be delivered in your door for like three days. Uh, but I think it was, it was fairly affordable. I think what we got, it was called uh, Sierra Comfort, I believe is the brand. Just look up Sierra Massage Table. And that's an option for people who are having trouble getting on the floor. Um, the question came up, I think it was a couple days ago. Someone said, can I do these floor exercises on my bed? Because the hip, the pressure of the floor was hurting. And even the yoga mat seemed to still hurt. Um, so in those cases, what I would suggest is something like a massage table. The, the issue with the bed is that it gives a little too much and it doesn't allow you to get in a stable position. So for those of you who are having trouble getting on the floor and the bed is a little too flimsy for some of these floor, floor workouts I get, I highly suggest a massage table. This is a, a Sierra massage table. Very good, very good stuff. So as you come in, please say hi, check in with me. Let me, let me know who's here. Let me know your name, where you're from, all that good stuff. So we're gonna start out with um, some wrist stretches, some nerve stretches. We're gonna work um, the shoulders for a little bit, thoracic extension, then we're gonna get into our workout. Good morning, Lori. So first, let's go ahead and do a little nerve stretch here. We're gonna do a nerve stretch that we haven't done before. Okay, so you're gonna take your arm out to the side, put the palm down, and then you're gonna turn it where the palm's up, and this movement right here where you take your hand down, fingers to the floor, and then up, you're gonna do that at the same time that you take your opposite ear to the opposite shoulder, right here and back, here and back, okay? This is stretching your nerve. Woo, feel that, okay? This is super important to prevent carpal tunnel, for you to maintain feeling, sensation, strength in your hands. As the fingers go down, your left ear goes to your left shoulder. It's opposite on my thing here. It probably looks like my right ear, right shoulder. Okay, and breathe with it. This is called flossing, nerve flossing. You're putting length on the nerve and shortening it. Lengthening it, shortening it. Lengthening it, shortening it. Other thing you wanna do is have your hand a little bit behind your shoulder. So you can see how here it's straight. You wanna have it a little bit behind. So it looks like this. Okay. Just like you floss your teeth, this is flossing your nerves. Same thing, right there. Remember to breathe, exhale as you go into it. Okay, now let's try the other side. Good morning, good morning. Okay, other side here. All right, so it's my left arm, looks like my right, but I'm taking my left palm and then right ear to right shoulder. Good day, everyone, good day. You guys ever like talking to English accents? I do, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> there you go, finger down, just breathing with it. Oh, good, thank you so much for the hearts. Oh dear, oh dear. I love it, I, I do. <laughs> there we go, right ear, right shoulder. There we go. That is so important. Remember, keep the hand a little bit behind you and use your breath with the movement. Okay? You could do this in sitting, you could do it in standing. Just make sure your spine is straight. Always straight spine, straight spine, straight spine. Okay, and now, let's take both hands to the side. Okay, straight elbows. Thumbs pointing up. Hey, Dad. And then now, same thing, shoulder, ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. Try to get those fingers pointing up as much as you can. Ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. Breathing nice and easy. Okay, very good, whew, whew. Okay, now let's move the wrists around a little bit. So wrist forward, 
making little circles right there. Open up those wrists, making a fist. Open up those circles. Now go the other way. Nice and easy, okay? Very good. Now let's take the hands together. Prayer stretch. Prayer stretch. Keep the base of the palm touching. Keep the elbows out. Really push towards the base of the palm. We want extension. This angle right here is what we're working on. Try to get as much angle there as you can. Make it even go the other way. And do as much extension as you can. Really open up that wrist, okay? Now let's keep the fingers together, push apart. Fingers together, push apart. Fingers together, push apart. Good morning, Karen, so welcome. Uh, yeah, so we do this. these workouts are every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. We also have a breathing course at 9 a.m. That's really helpful for calming anxiety, boosting the immune system, putting your body in an alkaline state. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And every single video is archived. You can find them in the unit section of this Facebook page, and you can also find them on YouTube, Native Path YouTube, and you can go to nativepath.com and you can find all the videos there. But this is a great way for you to stay in action and do more things to improve your health, okay? All right, so now let's just do a few wrist exercises on the floor. So you're gonna take your hands, put them on the floor, put them right under your shoulders, and what you're gonna do is translate forward and then come back. Translate forward and come back. Translate forward and come back. And keep the base of the wrist, that's where you wanna put the weight, okay? So you're working on extension. And yeah, we have a lot of new people coming in the group here. And, and the intention for these workouts, I always say it's like body hygiene. You know, earlier you, talk, you heard me talk about flossing your teeth. You brush your teeth, you floss your teeth so you don't get cavities. The things that I'm showing you here in these workouts are to keep your body stable and mobile and functional so you can, you don't have to rely on walkers or wheelchairs or anything like that or canes as you get older to help you decrease pain. Many of you are taking collagen to decrease pain. These workouts also help you decrease pain no matter where you have pain okay now let's take the hands turn the fingers behind you behind you so the fingers are pointing towards you and gently moving away moving away really easy Another thing you'll notice at the bottom of all the workouts, I'm putting hashtags for the things that we're focusing on. So like today it says planks, wrist, core, uh, shoulders. You know, you can see, that way you can always go to the search menu in the private group and just put hashtag what you wanna work on and you'll see all the videos that work on your trouble spots. We also go to the unit section, you can find home exercise programs for every body part, whether it's your neck, your shoulder, your hip, or your knee, or your back. There's two week home exercise programs with follow along videos. Just look for back pain fix, neck pain fix, shoulder pain fix. It's all there. So, okay, and now we're gonna do scapular push ups. So, I introduced this last week, but the. You ever see people with the, the shoulder blades and they're kind of winging out a little bit? That's a really weak uh, subscapular muscle, right? So, we wanna strengthen that up. It's like a suction that keeps the shoulder blade on the rib cage. So, what we're gonna do here is just take your hands, point your fingers out a little bit, have your fingers, or hands a little bit wider than the shoulders. And what you're gonna do, keeping your elbows straight, is let your shoulder blades sag and come together, right? And then you're pushing apart. Let them sag and come together. Push apart as far as you can, okay? Here it is from this angle. Sag, come together, almost let them touch. Push apart. Nice and slow on the way down. Push apart, nice and slow on the way down. Push apart, and as you can, as you keep going, get more familiar with the movement because it's weird at first. A lot of people, this is a new thing. Keep the elbows straight, but as you keep going, try to put more weight over the hands. Right, that's how you progress it, and eventually, 
you get straight. Okay? Start out on your knees and just work on that movement. It's so important for shoulder health. It's a complex joint. Okay? All right, and now what we're going to do is can openers. So in this position here, on all fours, you're going to take your right hand, put it behind your head, take your right elbow, touch your left elbow, and then come up as high as you can to the ceiling. Inhaling as you go here, exhaling as you go here. Try to go as high as you can, inhaling on the way down, exhaling through the mouth on the way up. Inhaling the way down, exhaling through the mouth on the way up. Nice stable position with the bottom arm. One more. Now let's go to the other side. And this is great for fixing that slouch posture, that slouched mid-back. So we're putting the shoulder, the head, everything in a better position. Left hand behind the head. Left elbow to right elbow. Open up. Good. And now let's go back to our scapular push-ups. Okay, remember hands, fingers pointed out, hands just wider than the shoulders here. Okay, and now letting the shoulder blades come together and pushing up. Letting the shoulder blades come together, pushing up. Keep the elbows straight. There's gonna be a tendency for you to bend the elbows and we wanna avoid that. You wanna train your brain to use this muscle because for most of us, it's, in, it's inhibited, it's, in, it's dormant. We've literally forgotten how to use it. And it's so important that you are able to activate this muscle. It's the foundation of what sets your shoulder blade on your rib cage. If this isn't good, you can, you can guarantee that more stress is going on your rotator cuff, the actual shoulder joint itself. So this is really, really important. You'll feel it after a while. You'll start getting sore and you're like, whoa, it's not even heavy. You get really weak and tired. Such an important muscle. Okay, and now let's go back to our can openers here, right here. Can't get the elbow past 90 degrees and left shoulder. So, okay, so um, right here is what you're talking about. If anybody's having trouble, you can try this one too, okay? Putting the hand if this position here is tough, try this, okay? And do the same thing here. Just come down and open. Okay? And just do the best you can. What we're doing here is opening up that mid-back. So this is a modification of it. Okay, let's go to the other side. Okay, right here. I'll just go back to this one. Hand behind the head. Two more. Okay. Yeah, and Rosemary, and for everybody, just remember, um, on all these, just do the best you can. You, you know, I'm somewhat more lim limber and mobile than most people, so I need to be careful about how I model things for you, but like, if you don't go as far in the range of motion as I do, that's okay. Just do the best you can, okay? All right, so now we're gonna do planks, and uh, we're gonna get on the floor, all right? So it's gonna be uh, five rounds of a 20-second plank, then we're going to lay down in prone extension for a while. Then we're going to do bird dogs, opposite arm, opposite leg, and then some cat camels. Okay, so I've got a timer here. And what we're doing today, the focus is really on the planks. All right. Remember on the planks, what we're trying to do is lock the leg straight, 
Squeeze the glutes as hard as you can. Squeeze the pelvic floor like you have to go to the restroom. Brace your stomach like someone's gonna punch you in the stomach. And, but at the same time, as all this is happening, relax your throat and breathe. So you're learning, you're teaching your body how to stay tight and stable as you can still breathe. Okay, so rotate your head side to side. That way it kind of loosens up the tension in there. All right, so 20 seconds. I've got the timer here and just do the best you can. If you only do five seconds, just do that. Just try to spend as much time as you can up in the plank. Let's begin in three, two, one, go. Squeeze the glutes, lock the legs straight, feet together. Squeeze the pelvic floor, brace your stomach, pull the elbows to the feet, relax your neck, stay tight, squeeze the glutes, lock the legs straight, squeeze the pelvic floor, stay tight, stay tight, stay tight, Hold, squeeze, 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 and down. And just relax. So in this position, relax the legs, relax the glutes, breathe. Working on gentle extension here to get the back in extension. Good, good, five more seconds. And now really easy. Let's go ahead and come on up to all fours, okay? Right here, and what we're gonna do is take our opposite arm an opposite leg and go out. Make a fist, point your foot down, and then back down. Okay, imagine a bowl of soup on your low back that you don't want to tilt. You don't want to spill it. Okay, so going out, holding for three seconds, coming in. Going out, holding for three seconds, coming in. Try to create as much distance between the heel of your foot and the fist, nice and easy. Keep your belly button facing towards the floor. Try not to let the hip hike. Remember a bowl of soup on the low back. And this is so great for overall stability. You're working stability in your shoulders, your hips, your core, your back, everything's working. Combining this with a plank is a full workout. So you guys are ready for it. You're strong. Good, one more. Okay, and now let's do cat camel. So on all fours and knees, go ahead and arch up and then down. Arch up and down. Up, down. Up, down. One more, up, down. Okay, getting ready for round two of our plank. Okay, remember, squeeze the glutes, lock the legs straight, squeeze the pelvic floor. Beginning in one, two, three, go. Lock the feet, screw tight, tight, tight. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the pelvic floor, lock the legs straight, pull the elbows to the feet. Breathe and stay tight, stay tight, stay tight, stay tight. Breathe and stay tight, squeeze the glutes, and down, gently. Look forward, relax the glutes. Big inhale, exhale. Good, about five more seconds here. Okay, now coming up to bird dogs again. Doing three on each side, okay? Good stable position to begin with. Taking the opposite arm, opposite leg. Going out, holding, two, three, in, two, three, out, two, three, hold, two, three, in, two, three, out, two, three, hold, two, three, in, two, three, out, two, three, hold, two, three, in, two, three, out, two, three, hold, two, three, in, two, three, last one, out, two, three, hold, two, three, in, two, three, cat camel, arching inhale up, exhale arch down. Inhale up, exhale down, up, down, up, 
down, up, down, up, down, one more, up, down, okay, going back to planks, beginning in three, two, one, go, feet together, Lock your legs straight, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the pelvic floor, pull the elbows to the feet, stay tight. Look at the floor, focus, focus. Stay tight, squeeze the pelvic floor, lock the legs straight, pull the elbows to the feet. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Five more seconds, stay strong, stay strong, stay strong. Down. Looking forward, relaxing the glutes. Big breath in. And exhale. Big breath in, and exhale. Good. Coming up now to bird dogs. Good, right here. Feet together, take the opposite arm, opposite leg. Going out, holding, two, three, in, two, three. Switch, two, three, hold, two, three. Switch, two, three. Out, two, three, hold, two, three, down, two, three, switch, up, two, three, hold, two, three, down, two, three, switch, up, two, three, hold, two, three, down, two, three, switch, up, two, three, hold, two, three, down, two, Three. Good. Cat camels. Inhale, arch up. Exhale down. Inhale, arch up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And down. Inhale up. And down. And up. And down. And up. And down. And up. And down. Okay, beginning our fourth round. You guys are doing great, doing great, doing great. Okay, beginning our planks. In three, two, one, go. Feet together, lock the legs straight, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the pelvic floor. Brace your stomach. Breathe, pull the elbows to the feet. Keep the legs, legs locked, keep the glutes squeezed. Maintain a tight squeeze pelvic floor. Brace your stomach like someone's gonna punch you. Three more seconds, stay tight, stay tight, stay tight, and down. <sighs> breathing, breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Five more seconds, inhale, exhale. Come on up. Bird dogs, okay, focus, focus on quality, quality, quality. Opposite arm, opposite leg, okay? Remember that bowl of soup is on your low back. And let's go out, two, three, hold, two, three, in, two, three. Switch, two, three, hold, two, three, in, two, three. Switch, two, three, hold, two, three, in, two, three. Switch, two, three. Hold, two, three. In, two, three. Switch, two, three. Hold, two, three. In, two, three. Switch, two, three. Hold, two, three. In, two, three. Okay, cat camels. Inhale, arch up. And down. Up and down. And up and down. Use your breath. Inhale through your nose up. Exhale through your mouth down. One more. Okay. Last round coming up on planks. Always on last rounds, do your best. 
Do your make the best reps, best stability, best thing you can do, best balance every single time. Focus, focus, focus. More mind control, okay? All right, beginning in three, two, one, go. Feet together, lock the legs straight, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the pelvic floor, you're stronger. You're getting stronger with each round. Pull the elbows to the feet, squeeze, stay tight, stay tight, stay tight. Hold it, hold it, five more seconds, go all the way, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes, tight, tight, down. Good job, guys. Breathing here, relaxing the legs, relaxing the glutes. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, there you go, calm your body down. Okay, back on up, bird dogs, remember best round is the last round. Opposite arm, opposite leg, okay, making a fist, pushing your heel away. Take the right arm and left leg, and let's go out, two, three, hold, two, three, in two, three, out, two, three, hold, two, three, in, two, three, out, two, three, hold, two, three, in, two, three, out, two, three, hold, two, three, in, two, three, out, two, three, hold, two, three, in, two, three, out, two, three, hold, two, three, in, two, three. Okay, cat camels, nice balanced position. Let's go ahead and inhale, arch up. Exhale, arch down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Up. Down. Up, down, up, down, up, and down, up, and down, and up, and down. Let's do one more. Up and down all right very good guys okay we're gonna end on some some hip stretches just to open things up okay and let's go ahead and sit back we're gonna do our internal rotation stretch okay we're in this position here feet forward just a little bit wider than the hips looks like this from the side have my hands back okay you can widen them a little bit to keep your balance and just take our knees to the side one way and then the other. So for anyone who's watching and getting on the ground was trouble for you today, remember I showed you the little massage table here um, that Brenda and I have that works great. You can order it from Amazon. It's a much better way for you to do groundwork without doing it on your bed. Because the bed is just, it just gives a little bit too much, especially on the stuff where you're on your hands and your knees. Uh, but this is much, better for you and it's only like I think it was like 50 to 60 70 bucks it was it's a pretty good deal and it gives Brenda a good excuse to um, ask me to give her massages <laughs> and this is nice and easy just keep your hips on the ground as best you can here you don't want to rotate the whole body so you're forcing internal rotation internal rotation okay internal rotation so important for when you're walking hip mobility Breathe. Okay, very good. And now Let's just roll back and we'll do happy baby dance. Happy baby stretch. So feet in the air, okay? Taking your legs and just pull them down. And just work in this position. Eventually, I'd like to, to work on womb squatting with you guys. And I'll show you what that is after this. 
It takes time to get there for, for many people, but it's really important for your functional capacity that you're able to squat on the ground with your hips in between your knees. It's a good indication of your anatomical ability to digest your food and release toxins. Um, and in the East, <laughs> people are much better about retaining that ability than we are in the West. But going down and squatting is something super important. So with this one here, it's a good way to prepare us for a womb squat in an unloaded position. And it's opening up the pelvis, working hip flexion, relaxing the face. Okay, and real gently, let's come out of that. And you can stay sitting down or come up and let me show you what a womb squat is right here, right? So every human should be able to do this, right? And they should be able to do it with the feet together, right? It's a good indication of uh, functional mobility. I know you guys aren't there. Many of you aren't there, but that's okay. I just want to show you like what is possible and we should be able to do that until we're 100, <laughs> I promise you. Okay, but we don't because we don't express it. Okay, it's important that joints are like anything else. You don't, you don't express, you don't use it, you lose it. All right, so let's begin to end with some breaths here. So let's take a big inhale in. Exhale. Inhale in. Exhale. Inhale in. Exhale. Now inhale and hold. Exhale. Inhale and hold. Exhale. All right, guys, way to go. Really good job today. Uh, please give me your feedback. I'd love to know how the planks are coming along for you. I know last time we did this last week, it was a rough, rough thing for you. And I was like, we need to do that again. We need to keep going. We gotta get stronger because there's nothing that creates more stability in your body than planks. So let me know how it was for you. Please let me know if you have any questions. You guys are doing absolutely wonderful. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, my parents and my brother and my nephew are in town. So I'm looking forward to that. We're gonna go on a boat. Um, so I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, and I will see you on Monday. I'm going to leave you guys with a nice little quote here uh, from Rumi, a uh, great poet, mystic, okay? And he says, yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. So important. This was written like thousands of years ago, and he, he got the awareness that like, it's not about complaining or doing anything out there. It's about here, right? The outer world is nothing more than a reflection of our global collective inner world, right? So we have to start here. It starts with us taking responsibility, personal responsibility for our health, how we eat, how we move, how we are, how we show up, how kind we are to ourselves and others, how we appreciate this life we've been given. Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I'm changing myself. That is the path. That is the path. That is the path. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all very soon. Okay, bye-bye.